Satan's Playground is a psychopath horror movie. The movie starts with this husband, wife, and their child, which has like a mental disability, and their friend, which is a woman, and her baby. They're going on some like kind of vacation together when, while driving on this dirt road, they get stuck. Husband gets out, can't get the car unstuck, so he goes to look for help. Well, it comes upon this house, knocks on the door to see if he can use the phone. Super old lady, just creepy answers the door, tells him to come in, and he is swiftly murdered. And basically, this house is home to this super old lady and some of her kids that all have something wrong with them. Also, there's this creature in the woods flying around, killing people. And just one by one, the people in that car that broke down go to this house and just chaos ensues. And that's about the movie without too many spoilers. So, my review for Satan's Playground. So, this is kind of like the perfect example of how just having a creepy house in some woods, which seems to be a classic for horror movies, really does just make a horror movie as really this budget wasn't nothing spectacular there was one part where the jersey devil quote unquote that's what they call it flies down and cuts this kid's throat and it just explodes with these good practical effects but nonetheless the movie was not really anything crazy not really bloody or anything and just some woods in this creepy old house. That was literally what the movie was. From an acting standpoint, besides the creepy old lady, the acting wasn't that good. All in all, from just like a production and like kinda dissecting the movie, it was just, it felt like the budget wasn't high, but the movie wasn't bad. And it kind of, like I said, just bleeds back to definitely a creepy house in some woods and make a halfway decent horror movie. Because at the end of the day, this movie wasn't bad. Also, there was this part where the police officer is at the old lady's house. And the old lady's like, nah, nothing's happening. And then he clearly hears a scream and he just dismisses it. Goes to his car and the Jersey Devil swoops down barely scrapes his cheeks, like scratches him. He gets a couple scratches on his cheeks and just dies. They, like, that had to have been easily the most useless police officer I've seen in a horror movie, on top of the fact that 90% of all police officers in horror movies are useless. So that's saying a lot. That police officer had the defense of a toddler. Now, with that lame kill out the way, there were actually two pretty good kills in this movie. The first one being the boy in the woods when he gets his throat slashed by the Jersey Devil. That was actually the best practical effects in the movie. They definitely went all out with that kill. Because, like, all the kills were kind of lame up to that point, And his throat just explodes with blood. It was pretty good. And then the son from the car that had the mental disability they kind of took him out crazy he just kind of falls in like this uh water quicksand like swamp area and just slowly drowns and dies it's pretty messed up so my recommendation for satan's playground is this is actually a i would kind of recommend which is a new category that i made there's just been tons of movies that fall into kind of recommended. So I decided finally to just make the new category as my categories were just kind of too strict as I have movies that I put in not recommended that I kind of would recommend, but I wouldn't recommend them. And I just feel like I finally watched enough movies to make a new category as I'm just getting tired of putting all these halfway decent movies and not recommended. So if you watch one of my old movie reviews and you hear me say at the end not recommended, just check out my playlist as I might have switched it to kind of recommended.